Hi students, welcome back to online lectures. Now we are moving on to second unit. In the last classes we discussed about the engine symbol in replication. Now we are moving on to semi-conservative mode of replication, the proof given by Messerson and Stark's experiment. So first of all, before going to study the replication, who have given the proof? For this kind of the replication should be studied. So, what is replication? Replication means duplication of the DNA to produce two DNA molecules from the single DNA molecule. So, initially, at present we know from the single DNA molecule, two DNA molecules can be produced. But uh, exactly how a DNA molecule undergoes replication is not known in the initial days. Many scientist communities have given different models to study DNA replication or to understand DNA replication. They include three types of the replication models have been given. Semi-conservative replication, conservative replication and dispersive replication. Coming to semi-conservative replication, now in this session we are going to study what is the proof for this. Just now I would like to tell you what is the definition of the semi-conservative replication. In this, the double-stranded DNA separates and each strand undergoes replication. That means each strand in the duplex DNA acts as template and synthesizes daughter strand DNA, results in two DNA, two daughter DNA molecules containing one virginal DNA and one daughter DNA. So here the two DNA molecules produced from the single DNA molecule containing one original DNA and one parental DNA. Now coming to conservative replication in which it results formation of two DNA molecules whereas one DNA molecule is consisting completely original DNA and the other DNA molecule contains two daughter strands. So it represents double helical DNA undergoes replication and forms two DNA molecules. One DNA is completely of original, another DNA is of daughter DNA. Coming to third type, dispersive replication. It results in the formation of two DNA molecules which are of hybrids or patches. Here, each individual strand is made up of original and daughter strands. So this is patchwork of the replication known as dispersive replication. So these are the three models given by different scientist communities. If you see here, in semi-conservative mode of the replication, first the double-stranded DNA separated and from the single each separated strand acts as template and synthesizes new daughter DNA molecule. So now the proof for this semi-conservative replication. That means again, each strand, each strand in DNA access template to produce daughter DNA. The evidence was given by Messerson and Stark in 1958. They began experiment with Escherichia coli bacterium and they allowed this bacterium to grow in nutrient growth containing Heavy isotope nitrogen 50. The difference between heavy isotope and light isotope is number of neutrons in the nucleus, as we know them. So, the bacterium grown in heavy nitrogen 50 medium for several generations until the whole bacterial genome is converted to heavily labeled nitrogen. During the growth, nitrogen is uptake by the bacteria are used to synthesize the biomolecules including DNA. After several generations, now the bacterial culture was switched to grow on another medium containing nitrogen-14, that means white nitrogen, nitrogen-14 medium, and allowed to grow for several generations. Here to study the experiment, in this lecture, I am going to give you explanation about the four generations growth in this experiment. So, after growing bacteria in the light labeled nutrient growth, Messerson and Starr 
studied the density of the DNA using the density gradient centrifugation using the cesium chloride. So here, density gradient centrifugation is used to separate the molecules based upon their different densities. So here the gradient used is cesium chloride. It is greater at the bottom and lighter at the top. So heavier DNA molecules forms the band at the bottom and lighter DNA molecule forms at the top. Whereas the mixed DNAs which are consisting of heavy DNA, consisting of heavy labeled DNA and light labeled DNA forms hybrids, they form band at the medium of the test tube. So to understand this clearly what they have done, you should see this here. So after cultivating bacteria in both mediums, first you see here in blue color flask that is nothing but heavy labeled nitrogen. So here the bacterium is grown for several generations to completely convert the DNA into heavily labeled. Later on, the same bacterial culture is transferred to lightly labeled medium. So before transferring the culture to the second flask, some sample they have collected and broken the cells and extracted the DNA and subjected to centrifugation. Then they observed that the band produced in the cesium chloride gradient during the centrifugation and after the centrifugation they observed that the band was found at the bottom of the test tube. That indicates that all the nitrogen uptaken by the cells and inserted into the DNA so that the DNA becomes heavily dense. So therefore the band formed at the bottom. After transferring the culture to the second flask that is red color is indicated in the second flask and then in the lightly labeled nutrient broth containing N14 nitrogen. So after transferring into these, they collected samples for every 20 minutes. Here the time 20 minutes nothing but the complete replication cycle takes 20 minutes. So to cell to divide into two types takes 20 minutes. So thereby at initially that is nothing but at zero time nothing but initially labeled. After 20 minutes of the growth period, they collected sample, again they broken down the cells and collected the DNA and applied to density gradient centrifugation. And at this stage, you see the second tube, there uh, they found that the band formed at the middle of the tube, that means hybrid DNA they observed, that means in the first generation, they found that the DNA molecule synthesizer containing one original strand and one daughter strand. And next year, Coming to after 20, that means 40 minutes. See, first round you can see. First round, the hybrid bond has one form. Coming to second round, in the second round of the replication, now the hybrid DNA molecules again undergoes replication after 40 minutes and produced four DNA molecules. Among these four DNA molecules, two DNAs formed are hybrids and two DNAs forms are lighter. If we observe the density gradient centrifugation for the second round of the replication, you can see. So, which one have more density? Hybrid DNAs have more density, so thereby they form band at the middle of the test tube. Whereas the DNAs, the remaining two DNAs, which are shown in the red color, which are lighter, they contain only M14 nitrogen, they can form band at the top of the density gradient test tube. So there here two bands can be observed in the second round. One band at the middle and another band at the top. If we move to the third round, these four molecules after again 20 minutes, they undergo replication and from the four, eight DNA molecules can be formed. From these eight DNA molecules, two are hybrids and the remaining six are LIGO. Again here also two bands will be formed. So from these hybrid DNA molecules, forms band at the middle, lighter molecules forms at the top and completely heavy molecule complete the both two strands which are labeled with the nitrogen 15 they form band at the bottom. So based upon all these experiments and findings, suppose if, we, if they move on to the fourth round of the replication, there they will find 16 copies of the DNA. Among the 16 copies of the DNA, they will find only two DNA molecules are uh, hybrid and the remaining all are lighter. So gradually the width of the band formation will be increased at the top and will be decreased at the bottom. This was the finding made by the Messelson and Stahl in 1988 and the conclusion for the 
semi conservative mode of replication is here the double stranded dna molecule first it separates and each strand acts as the template and from the template new dna molecule that is new strand of the dna can be synthesized so thereby the results of the semi conservative replication is often two dna molecules containing one original strand and one daughter strand so these are the findings of the messes and unstall are uh, given wonderful findings about the semi conservative mode of the replication so and the remaining two findings which are uh, conservative and dispersive mode was proven wrong by these experiments thank you